talk about young people doing great things. Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogu and his ICT counterpart, Elio Dowalo, are being called upon by young innovators to nurture a culture of innovation amongst learners in order to accelerate economic growth in the country. The youthful innovators from various schools in the country participated in a two-day national science and engineering robotic fair at the Moy Girls High School here in Nairobi, where they showcased their innovative prowess with the name of Representing Kenya at the World Robotics Competition that will be hosted in Panama, Denmark and South Africa later this year. Seth Alale interacted with the school children, innovators, seeking to revamp the country's engineering technology. With schools countrywide currently on term two break, ahead of the commencement of term three education calendar, end of August, school children innovators shifted their concentration to the third edition of the Kenya Science and Engineering Robotic Fair hosted at Moy Girls High School in Nairobi. <laughs> Over 100 participants outwitted one another in order to secure tickets to represent Kenya in the World Robotic Olympiad competition to be held in Panama, Denmark and South Africa. For people who want to be engineers, they can start learning now and build robots on, 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 for the future. I love it so much and since I was a kid, my desire was to be an engineer. But I did not know how I became such engineer. So I just did my best and found myself here. I have that passion of robotics because it entails the coding, programming, creativity of coming up with a robot. The two-day national competition drew representation from the regions competing in the 8 to 12 years elementary category, 11 to 15 years in the junior category, and 14 to 19 years participants in the senior category. Through this competition, it gave me that courage that I can even uh, do what boys can do, even girls can do that. I'm the only girl in the whole group. In robotics, it's something that I've had since I was a child. I used to play a lot with cars, I used to wreck them. My mom is a witness for this. The world is moving towards artificial intelligence, and this is what we are seeing our students um, showcasing and competing in. By, by technology, we have to build the skills of our young people. So we want people who are digital literate, and this is where the world is going. So if we don't start early, we might not be able to attract the talent that we need in the STEM workforce. The young innovators displayed skills in global missions with Mark Wambua, Rashil Valuri and Lydia Toto leading a team of over 20 participants who will fly the country's flag at the World Robotics Fair. Our robot is called an Aqua Ranger. Uh, you know oil spills? So when oil spills occur in the ocean, our robot will swiftly navigate towards the point and place barriers for containment of the oil spill. What excites me is how the competition is and uh, the main motion was to go to Panama, with, which is where the internationals are going to be held, yes, and it's so innovative. The competition was very tricky, on, uh, mostly on how to place this robot when it's starting. And he has grown with that interest and uh, I support him so that he can become an engineer. Using this we are going to encourage and inculcate a culture of science in the young people in the view that in future they will pursue these careers and they'll come back and create opportunities. Over 100 school children participated in the two-day national championships coordinated by the Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics module in partnership with the Kenya Science and Engineering Fair. President William Ruto, while opening the 2022 Kenya Innovation Week Expo, said innovation has the power to catalyze productivity, generate gainful employment, and create wealth for Kenyans. The young innovators want both the public and private sectors to be keen on creating a culture of innovation that will enable the country to propel to the next economic growth. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, at the Moigal School, 
Nairobi County. All right, let's stay on education matters. The government has set up